Peace. Do it to make 25. He make three flips. You know what I mean? $75,000. He do four flips. He got $100,000. That's from selling tobacco with $3,500 of carton. Pay attention. I'm giving y'all the game. If y'all can't catch it and realize that we're going to hustle where we at and whatever the currency we're going to make it work, then we're going to make it work. You understand what I'm saying? Now, another video I'm going to get more in detail about. Nah, I'm going to just tell you now. Okay. Now, the dude that buy a pack. I'm bringing out to the smallest hustlers in the joint. A dude that buy a pack of cigarettes. He paid three hundred fifty dollars for the pack of cigarette. So what he do is he'll take a, a, a scissor and he'll take that one cigarette that's this long and he'll cut it eight little times, maybe ten. You know what I mean? They say cut it ten little times. He sell each one of those little cuts go for five dollars. So now he making fifty dollars off a cigarette. You understand what I'm saying? Fifty dollars off a cigarette. Yo, I gotta give a shout out to Unique man. You know, uh, he's a kingpin from Harlem, and you know what I mean. You understand what I'm saying? He's from New York. You know what I mean? Uh, Harlem, you understand? <laughs> he an old New Yorker. Old New Yorker is somebody that remembers New York before it became uh, before it became different. You know, in the 70s and 80s, New York was known as this lawless place. You know, they made movies about how lawless it was. What was that movie with Jack Lemmon, man? I think it was the the, uh, the some movie about these tourists coming to New York and it was a living hell. It was a bunch of crime. The city was dirty. It was grimy. It was like Gotham City. So that's old New York. New New York is real clean and gentrified, you know, with peace to, uh, peace to him, man. And yeah, man, that's that's what's going on inside the penitentiaries, man. The federal, the federal and state prisons. People are gonna want to make money, and once a guard or a CEO understands that they can make fifty dollars a cigarette, they're all in. And they look at it like, hey, even if I get caught, I'm only gonna serve a year in jail, or two years, three, four, five years. If I can make a couple million, I'll have that to come home to. Yeah, money is flowing in those prisons, and it's amazing. All overdoses are up six hundred percent in prisons, but nobody talks about it. <laughs> Contraband is up. A million percent. Nobody talks about it.